How you guys doing out there on this wonderful Wednesday afternoon? Um, I had a lady ask me, she said, did you vote for Trump? And I told her yes. And she looked at me and said, why would you vote for Trump? And I said, before I answer that question, who did you vote for? And she said, Jill Stein. And I said, well, I voted for Trump for the same reason you voted for Jill Stein. Practicing my freedom of choice. It's not about who you voted for. It's that I practiced that right. If somebody came up to me and said, hey, I voted for Hillary Clinton or I voted for Jill Stein instead of Donald Trump, I could care less. Even if Hillary Clinton would have won, it wouldn't change my opinion of that person. And um, unfortunately, uh, for most of the country, it does change their opinion. You know, we look at people as, oh, you're stupid for voting for Donald Trump or you're ignorant for voting for Hillary Clinton. We all have our reasons why we voted and made a choice that we did. It's because we have that freedom of choice. It's almost like America does not want to be united with anything, you know. And the mass media constantly focuses on things that are negative instead of positive, such as our rally last week. You know, it was a pretty good turnout. We had a good time. But all they could focus on was uh, how Black Lives Matter showed up and uh, we allowed them to take the stage. But they couldn't put the positive out there as far as Black Lives Matter showing up and a small bridge was created between Black Lives Matter, uh, bikers for Trump, Trump supporters, and others. And we also had a rally that went from 10 a.m. till 11 p.m., 13 hours without one incident. But that's not newsworthy because we're constantly being forced to be divided. And to this football thing, you know, people want to kneel and things like that. I understand that black men are being shot unarmed. And it's not the fact that they're being shot unarmed. It's that the people, the police officers who are doing these shootings are not being prosecuted. I understand that. But I don't think kneeling at a football game is going to change anything. We need to go back to real black leaders like Martin Luther King. See, when there was a problem, he went to the source of that problem. You know, he went to Selma. And he protested in Selma. Not around the country because it wouldn't happen anywhere. You know, and when it goes to unarmed black men being shot, we need to go to uh, Baltimore. We need to go to Ferguson. And we need to protest state senators. We need to protest police chiefs, and we need to protest these crooked judges who decide that, hey, the shooting was justified when we all know it wasn't. So we're protesting the wrong thing. We're doing things in such a way that it, that is creating so much division in this country that it's just ugly. You know, the NFL is in a lose-lose situation right now. A lot of people are not going to watch because people are kneeling. A lot of people are not going to watch because people are complaining about people kneeling. So, who are your audience now? Just play football, stay out of politics, and you won't lose anybody. Uh, but what amazes me is they're not allowed to, they're allowed to kneel before the American flag, but they can't wear special shoes to support breast cancer or other diseases around this country innocently. Um, that being said, I think that they have the right to know. Do I like it? No. But again, that's my opinion. Just like it was my opinion that I needed to vote for Trump instead of Hillary. And for anybody who voted for Hillary, I don't hold it against them. That's my freedom of choice. Even though I don't think it's right. It's just my thing. And people want to complain about Donald Trump calling them sons of bitches. Well, the funny thing that amazes me is that most of these people are so butthurt about the president saying son of a bitch I don't think it's a good idea I don't condone his behavior or anything but I also don't condone you playing music with vulgar language with your two year old in the back seat so before you judge anybody think about that I'm Dion Alexander American First